Good day everyone. So today I'm going to hook up a heated visor for my helmet. We'll, uh, I'll show you that in a bit, but we have to do some wiring and part of the reason is it's because it gets cold here. And actually, you know what, if you live in a really, really humid climate and your visor keeps fogging up, might be something to consider for you also. But we're going to start at the very basics and get this thing uh, hooked up to the battery and hopefully have enough room because I have a few other accessories on there already. But yeah, so let's get at it. Ah, see the ice is starting to come out of the snowblower. Hmm. It's a little bit above zero today, Celsius. So it is a little bit cold out today, I should say. Kind of cool, yeah. Uh, anyways, what I'm going to do, and don't do this, if you're going to do this, don't, don't put your heater too close. I'm just going to throw some heat on the bike here for a minute and heat up the plastics there. Um, just heat it up a tiny bit out here. Plastic does start to get brittle in, in cold weather. Okay, so to get at the battery, I mean, you don't have to necessarily take the seat off the bike. You can get at it, but I'm going to take the seat off. There's only two bolts. Uh, they're 8 mils, located right at the back here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It'll just give me a little bit more access. And oh, by the way, if it is really cold and if you don't have a heater or in a heated area, just run the bike for a few minutes. Uh, be careful of the exhaust if it's really hot, but uh, it will put heat all throughout the plastics and that, so everything will be nice and flexible. <laughs> just simply, you lift here at the back and just slide it back, you know, just lift it up, it comes off. All right, get this out of the way. Take off this guy here. It's just a number uh, five, like an Allen wrench or key or whatever. And this guy, there should be a, where is it now? So there's a little grommet thing in there. So if you just pull on this, it pops. Okay, it's right here. So put the pressure right there. And there's another one right here. Pull that off and then just do some some maneuver in here it takes a little bit of jiggling and you'll get that out all right see this really gives you there's really good access you can see right at the top of the battery we are going to take there's a tool kit cover over here this we do have to take off if you're wondering where your, your tool kit is on your bike it's actually right here And once this is off, it will give us some... Oh, there we go. I believe it's just the one bolt here. What's your secret? There we go. Things are cold, they don't come apart. So this will be good enough. I think we can get out of everything. The little toolkit is actually, there's a little rubber strap and it's holding it in place there. So. Let's see. So this is the harness, the initial piece of hardware that needs to go on and just tr gonna try to see if I can find a path feed this up
All right, so I found a path, which I think should work. Well, we're gonna find out anyway. So I just sort of fit it up underneath here. And so let's deal with this battery now. All right, so here's the battery and I need to remove all okay, right this has to pop up all right and this should just be hooked on okay you stay out of my way all right I'm just gently bring this forward. We don't have to take the battery out. Just need to be able to see. So here's our positive. All right, and okay, as with any wiring, your best bet is to hook up positive first because if your negative hits something on the bike, it's not gonna do anything. Um, but let's just uh, try and get this wire set up here. All right, now the worst part of this, well, maybe not the worst. Get this pushed out of the way. You have to be careful when you undo these things because there's a little wee nut. And you don't want to lose that nut. You don't want to lose your nut. It should stay in place. Okay. Now, where's my end? Oh, the end fell out of my screwdriver. Hang on. Okay, so as I mentioned, I went and got a screwdriver here. My other one, the end fell out. I don't know what's going on, but mine's getting a little bit crowded because I have like two other accessories on here. I have heated hand grips and I also have a GPS uh, wiring. So I'm gonna try to fit this one on. Hopefully it's gonna go. But again, I have to be really careful. See if I can come in this way. And hopefully we have it here. Come on you. Okay, that looks good. Let's just okay. The positive looks all right. Try to fit this back down in. Okay, that should work. Now let's get on to the negative one here. Okay, so same idea here. Let's try to be careful not to lose the little nut on the other side. There.
Okay, I am just going to, and this one it should go underneath. Come on everyone, line up. Get in line. Everything feels good. Now, let's get this back into place. So the wires are hooked up. Now I'm just gonna make sure everything's sort of, nothing's messed up here. This should all slide back into place. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's get our little uh, battery strap on. Yeah, come underneath this fuse. Hopefully that's gonna, I can jam this in. This is the fuse for it. So I want that to be like out of the way. There's not a lot of room in these. There's room there. Okay, that should work. And we'll get our little strap back on here. And then don't forget to stick this back. This little fuse here. My nice jack, it's all dirty now. It happens. Okay, I think we're good. Now, this. Just more junk, hey? Okay, I think that's gonna work. Get the cable there. Hmm. I don't know if I could have gone behind this or not. I don't think so. Well, we will give this a go. Okay, so. I think this is all gonna stay up in place. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll show you at the top here how it looks one time. Get a little bit closer here. I'm not even going to worry about tie wraps down here. This is fitting in really tight and we'll just secure it at the top. It's just running along nicely, so it's not going to go anywhere. But let's see if we can get the panels on. So sort of just a reverse of where we started. Get this turned here. So let's get this tool kit into place for the cover. Just... Here's the grommet thing. So I know you can't see, but it just fits up in here. Oh, let's see everything here. I see, it has to slide up. There's a little grommet like right here too. And maybe you can even see this. 
been a while since I've had this thing apart. So, and well, I've only taken this part apart like one time. There's a little grommet here and that slides into there. Okay, so that's, that's what was giving me some trouble when I was trying to take it apart. I didn't realize you had to pull it straight forward or I forgot or whatever. But I have my wire, it's running up along here. And let's push the, this into that grommet so that's in. And let's pull back on this. And then we just have to put this screw, bolt, whatever you want to call it, back in. Okay, so that's good. So on the screw or the bolt I'm putting in, it has a little circular thing. It's like a washer, but it's not, but it has a little, I don't know, a little piece that's supposed to slide into the plastic here. Okay, so that's all done up. Woo, what a day. Anyway, uh, let's get this on. Get the back slid in again. There we go. This should just push in nicely now, which it did. And get our Allen key. Allen key, where did you go? Cause I don't know. There we are. I mean, I did have everything set up and prepared, but you know. So if you ever have trouble turning one of these in, they should never turn in, like be hard to turn in. So sometimes you'll see me in a video, I'll be turning it the wrong way. That's because I'm getting it lined up and if you turn it opposite, you can feel it snap. That means the thread got in the right spot and then give it a try. And then it should turn in easy. And I don't know, I think I'm pretty happy with this. It's uh, together. Okay, I think I found a good spot here. As I said, the, the cable was just long enough to come along up the side and actually right along the top of the tank here. So it comes with these little clip things that just clips onto the cable, or the cable clips into it. It has a sticky back. And I kind of determined if I mount it right here, um, it won't interfere with the steering or anything. So I have the uh, additional cord hooked on here so when you're turning the bike or whatever it's either going to be up here or else it's going to be along the side um, and yet the forks don't interfere or hit it or anything so I think this is going to be an, a good spot for now um, so let's go ahead and get this little thing mounted on and I'll take it off of here just to get it mounted Plus I'm going to mount it so the, the cable I can put it on from the front to back. And I think that will work out really well. Uh, what we need to do, now if you've used other mounts and that, a lot of times people will heat them up um, a little bit. I don't know if it's necessary in this case, but what is necessary, a little bit of rubbing alcohol on here. And let's clean right here. It's a nice inconspicuous spot, plus um, any water and stuff is not going to either come down and go right into the end of the cable, or even come back, because it's, it's shielded with everything, you know, with the little bit of the windscreen and the electronics and that, so a pretty safe spot, I, I believe. But we'll just get that, uh, make sure it's nice and clean. So cold my lighter won't go. Oh yeah, yeah, I think the heat helped. All right, and here's my spot.
I think that's gonna work fine. Yeah, let's just try hooking this in now. Get in there, there we go. So I have a little bit of play. Um, then as I said, well let me just hook this up. Now, I'm going to show you here. So in theory, we're sitting there and I mean this can either lay down, but it's probably going to come up around the side like this. And, but when it's pulled back, um, nothing's going to hit it. It's all free and clear. Okay, so it's mounted here and it comes with plenty of cord. Um, this thing, I'm just gonna throw it up there. I mean, it's stretchy. Uh, and then it goes over to the bike here, to the helmet. And one thing that I didn't even realize, someone sort of told me, or I saw it on their helmet also. Um, it does come with more of those little clips, like how it mounted up on the steering column there. Um, now for me, since I always get on the bike from this side, from the left to the right, just because, I mean, this is where the kickstand is, right? So for me, if I get off the bike, um, more than likely, I'm gonna notice the cord. It's either gonna, you know, it's gonna press against me or I'll probably just visually be able to, to see it. Um, but what you should do, and I'm not gonna do this right now because I'm gonna determine the best location but just to prevent, you know, any possible pressure on the cord, you know, banding at this, uh, at the little mount here. So when it's plugged in, you want to put a little clip. I'm just, I just need to determine the best angle and everything um, for if I forget that it's plugged in and I start walking away. So that the first thing it's going to do is put pressure on this clip and not try to twist this whole unit, right? You want to keep it nice and stable. But I'm guessing it's going to be something like this, maybe. Um, but let me, I'm going to do some testing and see, you know, what's happening. But don't forget to use something like that to, you know, hold everything in line in case, you know, at some time you forget that it's hooked up and you get off your bike, you know, sometimes you're a little bit hyped up and you forget things are attached to you. So anyways, we'll do that. And just to show you on the helmet, again, if it's working properly, so it's plugged in now. So this is a heat advisor. It has two walls and there's a heating tape all the way around. So when it's on, the LED's on. So you know it's, it should be working. And that's just gonna keep all the, all the fog off of there. Um, I've tested the helmet a few times and it seems to work really nice, especially for here. Uh, I, did a little drive on a snowmobile and that also, it was nice, a uh, nice helmet. It wasn't windy inside or anything and it's fairly quiet also. You don't, you know, with my street uh, helmet, often if I'm gonna be driving at highway speed, I need to wear earplugs. Well, you don't need to, but kind of gets a little bit noisy. But anyways, there you go. And I can feel heating up, but again, if the bike's not running, you shouldn't leave it plugged in for too long. And again, I don't think it has, I don't know, but. If it has rundown protection on it, I don't know, but just unplug it, I guess. So there you go. Yeah, I think I might test it out and see if how this cord, uh, if it causes me any issues, you know, moving around or make sure nothing's binding. Everything looks good. So anyways, I hope this was a helpful video. If you have any questions, of course, just put them in the comments below. And uh, anyway, have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, come back for more. Leave a comment.